What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Now ladies and gentlemen, for today's video, I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and discuss a take that I've been seeing across pretty much all social media. And, and, and I, don't, I don't know if I should consider this a hot take or a non-hot take, but personally, it's a take that I don't really agree with. And it shocks me. It really does shock me that people are going to go ahead and hop into this game with this type of mentality, it just, it isn't good if we're going to expect anything positive coming out of the future of this franchise. But of course, before we go ahead and discuss everything, I do want to thank Example for obviously giving me the gameplay that you guys are watching in the background here. I do play on PC, so I have to wait until next week to get, you know, hands on with this game. So of course, I appreciate all the support. You guys can find Example's YouTube channel down in the description of this video. And also, if you guys want to showcase some of your gameplay on this channel, by all means, you can hit up my Twitter account. I have a link to that also in the description of this video. My DMs are always open. All you gotta do is just upload your footage. It has to be, obviously, HD for the channel, so people will want to, you know, obviously watch along with the commentaries and stuff of that sort. But yeah, you know, you can go ahead and upload it unlisted on YouTube, uh, send me the link over on Twitter, and if I have some extra time, extra space, I'll obviously use it. I'm not gonna be using them for that long because again, once I get my hands on with this game, I'm gonna get my own footage, but for the time being, just to showcase a model for three for you guys while I commentate about certain things. And by all means, if you guys want a little bit of a shout out, you could send the links on over to my Twitter account. But with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Now, as you can see right here, Mark's been put out a tweet over on Twitter. And I, I do want to state that this isn't directed specifically at Marksman. It's, it's a general topic. A lot of people are going ahead and saying this. But Marksman said, I don't get the $70 DLC complaint about Modern Warfare 3. Y'all bought anime camos and Snoop Dogg operators for $25 each. This is 16 maps, some new guns, and what seems like a pretty good overhaul of the mechanics of the game. Gotta be worth more than your anime girl camo. And I do agree, you know. Coughing up that much money, uh, let's be real, a lot of people spent more money on microtransactions in Modern Warfare 2 than pretty much the whole game cost itself. But realistically, down to the core, I have to be real, very realistic as well, because, you know, this is coming from someone who is actually pretty positive when it comes to the outlook of Modern Warfare 3. You know, Sledgehammer has done a lot of good stuff here, very promising things, and the future isn't looking shabby for this game. But at the end of the day, I still have to acknowledge it as DLC. It's not for hate. It's not for, you know, disrespect. It's just the common principle of what the game actually is. You know, the fact that Marksman even listed it off. The things that indicate that this game is DLC. 16 maps, some new guns, pretty good overhaul of mechanics of the game. You know, those are Marksman's main points here on why it's worth $70 and why it's not a DLC. But to me... It's just simply not good enough. Those 16 maps are not new. <laughs> Those are remasters. And yes, it's cool to see them come back. And, you know, it's it's guaranteed that we're going to have fun. And you don't have to guess if the maps are going to be good or bad. But at the end of the day, they're remasters. It's going to be cool. It's going to be fun. But this would have been good as DLC to Modern Warfare 2, would it not? Having a bunch of original content already in the game and then having 16 remasters drop in that title? That would be promising. That would be DLC. But instead, we're coughing up $70, full price, for 16 remasters and nothing new within the game. That seems a little suspicious to me personally. Then, of course, some new weapons, new guns. Yeah, you, you can make whatever you want from that. But new weapons, new guns, just simply DLC. We're getting all the guns that we had in Modern Warfare 2. Nothing is changing on that front. But we're getting stuff on top of it. You know, a, a handful of new weapons to add on top. Well, I, sh I shouldn't say a handful because there are a lot of new guns. But in reality, again, simply DLC. You know, this is Modern Warfare 2. It looks like Modern Warfare 2. It is Modern Warfare 2, just enhanced. And then the last point being that it's an overhaul of the mechanics of the game. Once again, that's a, that's a patch away from Modern Warfare 2. I'm sorry. I just can't agree that mechanic changes is what you know adds up to a game becoming $70 because I've seen many games before change their mechanics in a blink of an eye. Battlefield 2042, Battlefield 5, uh, Call of Duty World War II, many games out there have completely changed the mechanics of the title, you know, as a overhaul. It's not something that is impossible, and it's definitely not something that is worthy of a $70 price tag. I, I'm sorry. I, I just, again, 
I can acknowledge that this is a much better version of Modern Warfare 2. It's a massive improvement. And I have been talking positively about it many times, many, many times, because what is there to say that is negative? Let's be real. Besides, you know, the given facts that you have to pay for an overpriced DLC and also skill based matchmaking and, you know, all those other components. But when it comes to a development team listening to core feedback that we've been begging for for ages, yes, you know, it, it's, it's really nice right now. And I honestly am kind of curious and low-key excited to finally give it a shot on PC. But with all that being said, I still have to acknowledge what this game is. I, I don't know what is up with this community, but it really does seem that you have to be either one way or the other. You know, you either completely support this game or you completely hate this game. There, in no world, in no possible universe, could you ever have a opinion where you can accept that the game has positive changes, but at the same time acknowledge that it shouldn't be overpriced for what is basically, you know, a patch away from something that could be done in Modern Warfare 2. You can't do that. Apparently, you can't do that. But again, that is the realistic viewpoint of what this game really is. And I feel like if we can't acknowledge this, Activision is just going to see this as a complete win. Call of Duty is going to turn into something like 2K or FIFA, Madden, you know, games that, you know, and they're not doing it yet, obviously, because we have a campaign and, you know, we have zombies and stuff in this game. So it's a little bit more. But really, you know, zombies, I'm not big of a zombies guy. I'm going to play it because I think it's going to look interesting, a little mix with DMZ and Outbreak. But I don't know. It doesn't look like it's anything insane. And if we're going to be realistic here, Treyarch is working on their own game. Do they really have time to, you know, single-handedly craft something fantastic for Sledgehammer? Probably not. And I feel like as time goes on, it's going to get a little rough. I think it's a reason why we didn't get to see any actual gameplay of, you know, content creators playing it compared to, you know, multiplayer. And then the campaign is just literally the DLC to what Modern Warfare 2 was, you know? It's literally Modern Warfare to DLC campaign. It's finishing off the storyline where it left it on a little bit of a cliffhanger. So, yeah, I, it, it, I guess it's a little bit extra, but Activision is going to look at this and say, you know what? Maybe we don't have to add zombies. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe we don't have to do any of these things. Maybe, maybe we could just simply overcharge for quote unquote DLC. Next time in next Treyarch game, I guarantee it's going to be something like, oh, we're going to release a game where it's only like Black Ops 2 maps, and that's it, you know what I'm saying, and they're not going to do anything extra, they might not even add a DLC to the campaign, but they know that people are going to be so hyped up over that content, they're going to charge 70 bucks for it, and if they can pull one over on us here, they can do it to us then, but that's not confirmed, I'm, I'm just, I guess, throwing ideas out there, but it's something that I do get concerned about when it comes to people accepting these type of changes, and not acknowledging what the game really is. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm extremely curious what you guys think about this overall game. Do you think that Model Fair 3 is worth the $70? Do you think it's worth having the title of being a new, a brand new spanking Call of Duty game? Or do you think it deserves the title as DLC? I mean, let's be real here. Even the streaks are pretty much all just remastered or just reused streaks. And yeah, they have reused streaks in the past. Obviously, they always do in Call of Duty. It's very rare for them to actually add anything new when it comes to streaks. But I, I don't know. It, it just it doesn't seem like it's a game that is really trying to be something new or fresh. It just seems like it's a game that's trying to, again, solve community feedback and just just add on to a game that was just really <laughs> crapped on, if we're going to be honest here. <laughs> That's all it seems like. There's even been rumors that future seasons in Mall for 3 are going to be revolved around you know previous Call of Duty games, like Advanced Warfare, for example, which further proves that we're just going to be getting more and more and more remastered content as the months go on, even though the first two seasons are confirmed to have all brand new maps. We're going to get six maps between the first uh, two seasons, all new. But that doesn't confirm what we're getting for the rest of the year, you know? After that, how many, what, we're going to get like one new map with two remasters or three remasters every single time around? Especially if they're going to be hyper-focusing the seasons on previous Call of Duty games? I don't know. I don't know. But of course, I would love to see your opinions down in the comment section on what you guys all think.
But as always, make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed, leave a dislike if you hated it. Don't forget, subscribe, hit that bell if you want to be notified for more content just like this. We post daily here at 8 in the morning Eastern Time. And last but not least, we do stream daily besides Sundays. You guys can go ahead and find the link to that channel down in the description of this video. Usually it's over on Kick, but sometimes we do it on Twitch as well at the end of the month. That stream usually goes live around 1230 to 1 p.m. Eastern Time. But as always, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.